Ah, this one might work. Previously on The Thief. Asta Evans Dottier, assistant to the widow innkeeper of the kind Fay. I assure you, your doppelganger, the real Asta Evans Dottier, is not likely to bump into you. The next time I see you, I will either be in a really great or terrible place. The Thief is a Dungeons & Dragons actual Good player. Good luck to you, Asta Evans Dottier. With just one player, CC Way. And a full cast of NPCs, supported with soundscapes. Next. Do you have papers? Aye, I have them. And what is your business? Created by Michael Schofield. I'm here to load wagons, but I can help just about anywhere. I'm a hard worker. You are standing in a queue, hugging this vine-wrapped iron fence. Sounds like you're just in time and everything looks in order. Go on in. That separates the main street box from Merchant's Row. Next. Symphony is going to walk as if she's a little nervous. Yes, you. On purpose. Come on ahead. Good, good day. And what is your business, young miss? And she digs in her bag for her reference paper. I'm here because I heard that the lady merchant is looking for a night servant, and I would like to apply for the position. You realize Lady Merchant expects her night staff to work every night, correct? You are capable and available. Oh, yes, and she hands over her Asta Evans daughter uh, reference, and she says, I'm used to staying up overnight, because at the end, you know, people often wake up in the middle of the night asking for food or, you know, help emptying their, you know, you know what. Hmm, yes, of course. Disgusting. Is Symphony carrying any weapons? a knife tucked in the inside of her boot mm -hmm. that she's taken out before. Are the boots visible? I think she's dressed like Isabel would be dressed. Okay. Tan, clothes, an apron looking mm -hmm. item mm -hmm. over her little poof of a skirt and then a little bonnet over her hair. Well, all right. Everything here looks in order. The manor house is back behind me. You want to find Nora and introduce yourself. Thank you, thank you, and she uh, shuffles out. Oh, and don't mind Albrecht, he means no harm. Who's next? Expecting orders. Or anybody. Oh, oh, no, uh, I'm, I'm looking for Nora. Oh, Nora? And what business do you have with my Nora? Well, you see, I'm hoping maybe to be considered for the, the position she has open for the lady merchant at night. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. You're hoping for Morbury's position. All right, come on in, come on in. I'm sorry for him. I'm Nora. I walk in behind her very normally, but when I pass by the guy who is giving me a hard time, she definitely keeps her eyes on him for a little longer before she turns her head to fully follow Nora. He wobbled back to this stool next to a small round table where he was sitting with a 
cup of tea that is too small for his hands, but he's there um, <laughs> enjoying it. And there are a lot of biscuits on the side, maybe too many, <laughs> right? Um, Love it. You're here for the night servant. You realize this is an overnight position? Oh, yes. That's uh, one of the reasons why I thought maybe I could be of help. I work overnight at the inn. Uh, the kind fay, if you've heard of it. No, no, we don't venture too far away from here lately. But I'm sure it's lovely. Do you have any questions? Any tips? You'll be fine. Well, you may find that Lady Merchant is a little bit... She can be a lot. Hey, people love to make the mistake. The Lady Merchant is just the lady. Vacant. Vain. Stupid. A little daft. The assumptions are the stupid and unworldly. Lady Merchant is the reason for all this. She is a very shrewd woman, if you get me. Alright, alright, come. Follow closely. What now? We have a problem. Problem? Ah, yes. I... I need to talk to Nora? Well, Nora just left with the new Mulberry girl. So you must suffer. Look, we're told we have to stop the caravans. Can you just make sure that Nora gets it? She leads you down the far end of the hallway. There is a large stairwell that itself goes up a few steps, disappears around the landing. The stair itself is carpeted. Nora holds you up briefly, inspects your feet, inspects her own, and determines that they're quality enough to ascend the stairs. At the top of the stairs, a large open room with windows on two walls that overlook the streets, gazing uphill through the city. Nobody's in there. And as Nora guides you past, she says, Ah, is Lady Eleanor's residence. She is Lady Merchant's oldest. Lady Merchant is this way. Eleanor has recently taken an opportunity to go to court. She took Mowbray with her, who is the knight's person you'll be replacing. She was very good at her job at hand. And let me tell you, she was very, very well liked. Lady Merchant thought we could go without replacing the staff. But there's just too much night activity, too many colors, and I'm greatly relieved I could change Lady Merchant's mind. This room is lived in, and it's a little less bright because the sun is on the opposite side of the room. But there are a couple of people in here, and just as the door cracks open, you see the Lady Merchant standing regal in front of a large polished mirror. And behind her, a maid really tightening her corset. Woof! I'm so sorry, my lady. Fashion is in prison. That looks really uncomfortable. Lady Merchant, thank you. That will be you. Yes, my lady. You look stunning. Sorry again. I present. Sorry? What was it? Hi, Nora. Bye, Nora. And she uh, she picks up on it, like, immediately, and she tries to, as seamlessly as possible, like, fit her name in at the end of that sentence. And she's like, Asta. Asta Evans' daughter. Asta Evans' daughter? She is interested in replacing Mulberry for the nice stuff. Miss Evans' daughter, please come take a seat. I walk up to whatever couch or chair is there. Nora, close the door behind you, will you? But I purposely look nervous oh, to not. sit down in her presence. Give me a deception check. And this role will be for the duration of the scene. 
<laughs> I got an 11. She moves to like a large desk that is in front of one of these sprawling corner windows. And what you can see on her large desk is an open ledger. She flips the page and seems to read with her pointer finger. Tell me something pertinent about yourself, Miss Evans' daughter. She writes something down. I stay kind of just standing awkwardly next to this love seat. Well, um, I have been working for my mother in her inn, and I have a lot of experience um, staying awake at nights and making sure that I'm alert enough to help the, the customers who are in the inn, whatever they need. Uh, well, not whatever they need, but, you know, reasonable things that they need. And both my mother and I thought that it might be time for me to try to work elsewhere other than um, at home. Please, as I said, sit. I sit very nervously and I like the edge of the love seat. Something gets the feeling that this woman is trying to create an environment that would make her nervous if she was actually Asta Evans' daughter. And so she leans into that. Tell me about this inn. Ah, uh, well, uh, it's named The Kind Fae, um, in, in case the lady has ever heard of it. My mother created this inn before I have any memories, so a long time. And it's been, uh, it's been good times and it's been bad times. But we offer food and lodging um, for anyone who can pay if we have space available. Yes, yes, the business of an inn. Where is the kindly fay? Oh, the, the kind, there's no Lee at the end. It's uh, in Ors Market, um, just uh, north of the White River. Ors Market? Really? And at that point, rap, 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 rap. What? The door opens. Lady Merchant, I apologize for the inconvenience, but ye, it's fine, Nora. What is it? What? I. it was last minute, but I believe the details are here. The contract has been terminated and given to another account. I'm afraid the contract for this morning's caravan has been cancelled. Why don't you give me an insight check? Okay, I got a seven. There's a meaningful glance given between the two. Ah, uh, of course. She guides Nora back to this desk, unlocks a drawer at the bottom, and then withdraws this lockbox. Here. Remind them all that contracts with the merchants are always fair. I And apologize for the inconvenience. And she looks at you and gives you a nod of solidarity, closes the mm -hmm. door behind her. Next time on The Thief. I'm not here to rip off the merchants, right? Like, that's not my goal. Let me make something clear. You are a new face, and so you are an untrusted face. My goal is to look for something that could help me understand why my handler is in jail and why he thinks this is the thing I need to pay attention to. If anything untoward should occur, you will be the first I will suspect. The Thief is an original adventure written and produced by me, Michael Schofield, played by C.C. Way. Christian Byrne was the announcer. Patrick Derkovich Rakas was Dry Point. Fletcher Nauman with the Gatekeeper. Logan Rinesmith, the Wagon Loader. Jeremy Roman was Albert Sally. Patricia Wires was Nora. Vincent Hughes was Messenger. Lady Merchant was played by Patricia Wires, too. And her maid, Anna Braithwaite. 
The Thief is made possible with the support of our patrons that we call The Feared. Our Thanes, Andy McClellan and Trey Brindrett, our spear throwers, Rebecca Monson, Mike Gatchley, Andy Priestner, and our free peoples who help spread the word on social. SC Tadson, Patrick Derkovich Rakas, Chris the Deserted GM, Rusty Rain, and Nathan from the AARPG podcast. Help me make the thief for just $2 per episode on Patreon at patreon.com slash the thief.